Okay, welcome back, boys and girls. So we've done and worked together the first three, um, first three examples and the first three problems here in our um, in our lesson for our noun subject action agreement. So you're going to finish the last three. You're going to highlight uh, highlight our verbs and underline our um, subject, our noun, right? So now we're ready to move on to activity 2.3. So we're going to do the same thing. You're taking those subjects and those action verb and you're making sure they agree. So for example, we have um, a subject that is plural and it says the boys, it's more than one boys, and it says our action verb when it means to, it says run. So the example, the right way to um, make sure that the noun and the action verb agree is saying the boys run because remember that if it's a plural, you don't change uh, the present tense verb. So um, you're going to do the last three. So Gabriella suggests my father trusts and Don Coyote, uh, Quixote, excuse me, choose. You're going to finish those and you don't have to underline and highlight this time. You're just going to write it out. Okay, boys and girls. So that's activity 2.3. Now we're ready to move on to our new, our next portion of our lesson, morphology. So you're going to be able to distinguish between those root words with the suffix ness and use them correctly into our sentences. So let's look and to see what exactly does that mean. Okay, so we know that the suffix, so we've heard the ness, we've seen that, right? So we're going to be able to study the suffix, suffix ness and explain that ness, that suffix means the state or condition of being. So it means um, that state. So what it actually is, that condition. And it's generally added to adjectives. Um, adding the suffix next changes the adject adjective to a noun. For example, you bright is a adjective, but if you changed it and added that suffix ness to bright, it would be brightness. And now it goes from now um, first bright was an adjective, meaning producing light, having light or strong color. And brightness is the state of condition of producing a lot of light or drowsy. You, you're falling to sleep. You're sleepy. But then drowsiness is the condi condition of being ready to fall fall asleep. For example, the drowsiness I felt made me hard to concentrate on my science homework. Okay. So now we're going to look at activity 2.4. We know that once we learn something, we always practice it, right? So what you're going to do is these words have um, the suffix next, right? So you're going to read each sentence and you're going to see which um, sentence best, what word best fits in that sentence to complete it and make sure that it makes sense. For example, if you look at number one, it says the blank morning air helps me wake up even though it's very early and barely light outside. The blank morning air brought helped me wake up even though it was very early and very early and barely light outside. Do you think it's the steady? The greatness morning air, the drowsy morning air, the drowsiness morning air, the crispest morning air, the steadiness morning air, the crisp morning air, or the bright morning air, boys and girls, the crisp morning air. So here we would type the crisp morning air, and that is what you're going to do. You're going to type your answer in right where it fits, so crisp. And you're going to use all of these words one time, boys and girls. Okay, so let's look at number two. The morning to watch the, the more, it was an incredible to watch the artist work with such blank as he painted at the picture of the, as he painted the picture of the river in its bank, right? With such what? We know it's going to be a condition of, a state. it's going to be a noun with such what? With such crispness? With such steadiness, which with such drowsiness, which do you think it is, boys and girls? Okay, boys and girls, which one do you think it is? Let's take a break and we're going to come back and answer it. Okay, boys and girls? <laughs> 